I just built an automation for one of my clients and it's gonna enable him to send out hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of custom proposals to his possible leads and he estimates this is going to make him or is you know he is on track now to do about six hundred thousand dollars per month and of course there's more there's more to it than that but i'm going to show you the thing that's at the heart of this which is the ability to custom fill in a document generate a pdf from that document attach it to an email and send it out now you may be thinking well i'm not in the real estate business this isn't going to work for me uh and maybe that's true but let me show you uh, the overall flow of where this is going. So let's say you have a bunch of email subscribers and you want to extract the domain from the email, look at their website, do some uh, figure out what the company does. You, know, you can use a bunch of tools I'm going to talk about. So you can use ChatGPT, an, an automated ChatGPT uh, API. You can use what's called uh, a regular expression to extract just the company name or the company description or maybe the shop, like the price of, of Shopify items. Uh, you can do that with email subscribers or a lead list, right? Maybe you have deals in a CRM. Maybe you have a respondents to your cold email campaigns and you want to uh, get some information about the customer. Maybe it's their website or whatever else. Uh, maybe it's other stuff that a, a sales development rep fills in manually. Maybe you have a purchase page where someone's buying like a, a custom YouTube script from you. And we're gonna go over a bunch of different use cases. So these are where we can get data from, but let me just back up here and show you where we're gonna end up. And then we'll just like logically step backwards so that you understand the entire picture. So at the end, the last thing we have to do is generate an email text, email subject line, who the email is to, and attach a document, attach a PDF and hit send. Now, you may be able to just simply link a Google Doc that you create and that's okay. For some places, some clients I talk to, they either need a PDF for legal reasons or it just looks more professional to have a PDF than a Google Doc uh, that was pre-PDF. So you may choose to convert to PDF, you may choose not to. Either way, 99% of this workflow is exactly the same. It's only this one step that changes. So before we get the PDF and attach it to the email, we have to convert the doc to a PDF. We, have to need, we need a PDF. And before that, we need to know what custom data to, to fill into our Google Docs template that makes this template unique to a customer. So you may have very simple fields like the offer the purchase price for a home or someone's name and company details and like everything else is the exact same, it's boilerplate. Or you may wanna use something like ChatGPT or you may have a, a list of all these like possible template um, fields and you may choose to, to, to kind of do a multiple choice based on a classification of a site. So for example, if you target e-com companies, you may say, well, if it's a clothing brand, send them the, the PDF catalog of like clothing branding ideas or clothing graphic ideas. Maybe it's, you know, if it's a, a sportswear brand, tell them this, the sportswear thing. So you, you can use ChatGPT and some code to classify or to even generate text if you want to. Right? Or maybe you have a list of email subscribers and you want to extract the domain, get the text from the domain, and maybe process it through ChatGPT and maybe that goes directly into your doc. Right? Or you have a CRM um, that people fill in or a lead list or a self-checkout purchase page. So all this can be done in code. All these cases can be handled in code. Your application, of course, will, will vary. There is a link at the bottom of this video if you want to have me just do this for you and talk you through um, or like just make sure this is going to work for your business right and, and do the use case for you but i'm going to show you some examples here and hopefully that will will pique your imagination so let's look at some code i i like to use make uh, zapier is an alternative to make uh either one this will work for you so let's look at some code so the way this works let me talk you through this so we have the um the Gmail module, this is creating, uh, actually we're creating a draft email. You can send the email or you can create a draft if you want to manually check it over before sending. What I often do for new automations is create the draft first 
And after a few days or after a few weeks when, when we're all confident that it's running properly, then we send the emails, but that's this. And let's look at before and after. So the thing we do before is to download a document that gets the PDF. So I have the document ID, right? I get my drive and the type is PDF. The document ID, if you're not familiar with Google Docs, the document ID in Google is this string of characters here. So all you'd have to do is copy and paste that string into your automation and then Google APIs take care of the rest. Now we talked about before, right? We, we do the PDF, but before we do the PDF, we have to know what document we're, we're generating. And the way we do that is by filling in merge fields. This is the part that's really cool. So we get the document ID of the template that we wanna fill in. And that template will be something that has merge fields in it. And then we fill in certain information. So this example is for a real estate deal, a real estate contract, purchase contract. And so we have the address, the price, the closing date, and the offer expiry date. And those are all different fields in there that I have formatted in previous steps. So for example, this would be how your document would look like. So you'd have, oh geez, okay. So you would put these like little curly brackets uh, and then the, the variable, and then you'd put in your, your rest of your contract from your lawyer. So this would be X number of pages. You could also do this with, you know, YouTube script, YouTube script for company. You could insert your logo, something like this. You could have the intro, you know, body, bullet points, and you know, close, call to action. Oh. And this could be automatically generated from ChatGPT based on their website or based on a summary of what the company does, etc. You get the idea. So you may choose to have different formats here depending on what type of company it is, whether they do coaching or whether it's an agency or what you wanna do. All right, you get the idea. You can change the font size, you can add pictures to this template document, however you wanna make your template document. And it will, like the logos and stuff will all stay. The only thing that the Google API will do is simply replace this text, it will keep the formatting. So you can make this document look really, really pretty and your automation will still work. Very cool. So. Uh, we fill in the merge fields. These are all like just settings for where the document will go. So over here, we configure the document ID for the template that we want to use. And then we also give it a file name. So what I've done is I have an internal file name for the Google Doc and then an external file name for the PDF. And you tell it what folder you want to put it in. Again, every folder in... Google Drive has a specific folder ID. That's just like one PUQ string of letters. So that's how that works. Okay, so we talked about that. We talked about, we talked about, where's, okay. So we talked about this, 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 and this. Right? How you do the rest of it is, is a little bit variable, but let me show you a couple of examples of how this would work. So let's say, for instance, that instead of this webhook, which is, I'm, I am linking this up to Airtable, instead of this webhook, I have a website and, or a list of websites that are coming from a Google Sheet. All right, so you do search. Okay, so you would do a search rose. And then maybe after that, you have a list in your Google Sheet of the websites. So what you would do is you would do what's called an HTTP GET request which will fetch you all of the source code for a website. Oh, oh my goodness. There we go, okay. So, 
It's taking a little bit of time to load here. Okay, so that's this. What you do then is you say, you know, HTTPS, google.com, whatever the website is you want to get. You would get this from your Google Sheets module. You do a get and you click OK, right? This module is going to return the source code in HTML of your entire website. Now, you're going to find that the source code is really messy and it's, it's not going to... It's going to just not have the text. It's going to have a lot of extra stuff. So what you need to do is do like HTML the text, and then maybe you do so the HTML would be the HTML data from the previous module, and then maybe what you do is after you have the text, you AI. Okay, so you would do. create a completion. And if you have the OpenAI as in ChatGPT API connection, you would connect it here and you know I'm not gonna show you that stuff. So you guys get the idea. That's how you would do that kind of stuff. Again, for the rest of it, really depends on your application of choice. So let's say you have like MailChimp or Kajabi or ConvertKit or whatever. Uh, you would get a notification when there's a new email subscriber. You would strip out the last part of the email. You would then compare that and say, well, if it's not Gmail and Yahoo and what, you know things like that, iCloud, it's a company domain. You would do this get and then exactly what I showed you. The same thing is true if it's a spreadsheet. And if you have something in a CRM, you can just have your SDRs either manually fill in the data that need to be populated directly into the, to the um, into your doc, or you could have it pass through ChatGPT or calculate some stuff. For this real estate developer client, he has some, some deal calculation stuff working in the background, and that's just specific to his model of investments. And of course, you could also apply the same stuff, uh, either processed or unprocessed, directly from your checkout page of choice, depending on what checkout page you're using. So that is that. That is the complete tutorial on how you send custom proposals to a massive lead list or to people instantly or on a time delay once they subscribe to your YouTube channel or not YouTube channel, email list or wherever you get them from. So I would love to hear from you. If you have specific application ideas, like, like, hey, I've used this for this industry, or how do I use this for this thing that I'm trying to do, leave a comment below. Let me know what your questions or ideas are on this. I would love to hear from you as to what, how you're applying this, right? What, what ideas you have. I'm always really surprised, and, uh, and it's always really fun for me to hear the interesting ideas that you guys have. If you have a larger business and you want me to, just to do this for you, if you have a specific application in mind, send me an email. I will leave uh, my contact details in the video description. Probably not, maybe website. Maybe I won't drop my email there. But you can also reach me on Twitter. I'll leave all the kind of fun links below. So that's all for today. Hope you had as much fun as I did. And... Uh, yeah. Remember, kids, pineapple is delicious on pizza. It is fantastic. And that is all I have for today. Peace out.